Hey, it's Jillian again from Freshline. I'm just here to talk to you about uh, adding and editing pages, adding pages to the navigation, as well as adding things to the news section. So let's first start with pages. Um, if you log into your WordPress dashboard, and you click on pages, here is a list of all of your pages. There's also a toggle that lets you know there's two pages of pages. Um, you can sort these by date that they're published or title. So let's first just do an example, uh, let's say Craig I. So we'll load that page. And if we click on it over here, we can see all of the text and images, if there are any, associated with this page. So here is the text, which you are able to edit in this editor. This button right here toggles more options for you. All the paragraph text is set to the paragraph style here, and these subheads are heading threes. Um, it's important to edit text uh, according to headings and to the style sheet, which keeps things consistent. Um, there's your usual bold, tal, uh, strike through, bullets, numbers, quotes, um, left, center, and right justify. Uh, you can also make things hyperlinks, so you highlight the text you want to hyperlink, click the link, paste in your URL, add your title, and if you're linking to something off-site, I would check this box. If you're linking to something on the site, you can, you can leave that blank. You can also search for other pages or existing content within the site here and click on them to link. This is the visual tab. There's also an HTML tab if you want to do any more, any advanced editing. Uh, you have the option to uh, update the page. This information right here is important. Um, you want to put a title that the search engines are going to find and that are related to your, to the page. Um, you get a maximum of 60 characters here. You also want to do a description. Uh, 160 characters of what's on the page and a few keywords uh, that are separated by commas. You can skip title, attribute, and menu label. And when you're all finished, you just click update. If you'd like to add a picture to a page, you simply insert the cursor wherever you'd like the picture to go. Click on this little add an image box. From here, you can select the files on your computer to upload. Or you can look through the media library for current Im images that are already in the library and upload from there. When you upload from your computer, I'll just do a, a test one. It's going to upload the file, and then you're going to want to pick a title and an alternate title that are descriptive. These two can be the same, um, but they need to be real words related to what the image is about. Uh, you can skip caption and description, and you can also choose to align the image in whatever place you'd like, as well as a size. Uh, I typically recommend that you resize your images before you upload them here, and then hit save changes, and it'll insert this image into your post. I'm not going to do that obviously because you don't want a red square image. <laughs> so if you hit update and then refresh on this side, it'll update any changes that you made. The things on this side of the pages are controlled by widgets, which we talked about in the previous video, but I will go back to those. If you want to add a new page, super easy. You click Add New. Enter your page title, your text, any links, photos. You can also go over here to Screen Options 
And in general, I'd like to turn all these on so I can get all of the options. You can save it as a draft. You can preview it or publish it. Again, you'll want to fill in the information here for each page and post. So we'll do a sample. We'll do sample test page. Okay, so sample test page. This is a page with sample information. Sample test page. Insight I Care Texas. And I'm going to publish this. So it's now important to go back and edit this menu so that my new page appears. It's the second step. Which you go to Appearance, Menus. There's three different uh, menu bars right now. Top Nav is this right here. So you'll want to click on that one. Then you can come over here and see a list of all of your pages. You can do View All or Most Recent. You select the page that you added. Add to Menu. It'll drop it down here, but you can pull it wherever you want it. Um, I'm going to put it under Services. And then you'll want to hit Save Menu. Refresh over here. And if I go to services sample test page, there it is. So we will remove that because we don't want that. You can change the title of the menu item here if you'd like. You can also remove it. Make sure you hit save again. So that is how you add pages to this menu up here. Now we also have other menus. For example, over here, this is a separate menu. So to edit uh, this menu, as well as other things in the sidebar, you click on widgets. And you'll see that there's custom menus in some of these sidebars. So you'll want to find the sidebar that your page is using. So if this is the Our Practice page, and I find Our Practice. Let's make sure all of these are enabled first. Okay, page attributes tells you what the, the template that this page is going off of. So this is the default template. So if I go back to my widgets, and I click on page sidebar, that's the default. It's using my custom menu, or my top navigation menu. So it's reusing this menu over here over here. I also noticed that we have a research menu, I believe. So research library by topic. This menu right here. Is appro appropriately called research nav. So we added all these links as custom links and to do that you can just do a custom link so let's say I was going to link to google.com and I want to say google and I have this tab on 
I click add to menu and it puts it there. So I can obviously move these around, indent them, whatever I want. Then I'd hit save menu and that would appear in this research library. Remove that. Uh, the text resizer in these latest posts are other widgets. Right here. And we have different sidebars for different pages, so that's why all of these exist. The blog has its own sidebar. So we have the Facebook and the Twitter plugins. We have categories, we have recent posts. We really have beefed up the blog categories uh, widgets. So those are over here. We're talking about the blog. The blog is controlled by posts. So to see all of your posts, you click over here on posts. You see a list of them. Again, you can sort them by title, author, category, date. Um, and you also choose when you're in the post, what category to put these. I think you're really pretty familiar with blog posts. Um, your old blog was on WordPress and you are, I've been adding blog posts, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. But if you have questions, definitely let me know. So those are the basics. Uh, let me know if you have other questions about blog posts, uh, pages, and menu nav items. And our next video will talk about how to back up the website. Thanks. See you guys.